Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to manage YouTube channel playlist. That's right, you can actually um, change things on the YouTube channel playlist. There's a lot of little things you can do in there, deleting certain videos from it or um, sharing it. To There's a lot of little things. I'm going to go over a few of those to let you know where that is so you can actually manage those playlists from your page. And I'm going to do that right now. But before we get started, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also, hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos we come out with weekly. So and thank you for guys for watching and liking our videos. All right, let's get started. First, you want to go to your YouTube channel, which is what we're going to do. So if you're not logged into the right YouTube account that's connected to your channel, make sure you do that. And once you're logged in, you can go up to the top right and click on the profile image and then here if you're not on the right one you can switch between them by clicking on the switch account but we're on the right one so we want to go to YouTube studio I'm going to click on YouTube studio and that takes you to your main dashboard and this is your channel dashboard and then what you want to do now before a while back when I wrote the article for this you'll see the link down below for that it would have the playlist on the side but they changed that recently so now you got to go to content right on the dashboard on the left hand side menu Hit content, click that, and then your plays list is right here instead. So these are all your videos. You have your live, your post. This is the playlist right here. So click on playlist, and this takes you to all your playlists you've created. I've created quite a few since we have a lot of different things I go over. I like to put them in groups. And uh, we're going to start with the first one. We're just going to do an edit of one. So if you hover your mouse over the playlist, you can just click on edit on YouTube. So we're going to edit the little pencil. Once you click that, it opens a different screen. Now you're in your playlist. And this is where you can do all your fun stuff. So if you wanted to change the title of your your playlist, you can do it there by clicking that little um, the little edit, edit pencil. Um, we're not going to do anything. I like to leave it as it is. You can also come down here. Here's the title of your page. This is if you want to make it click on that. You can make it unlisted or private playlist. You don't have to share it with everybody. This is public though, so I left on that. You have the share option. You can share your playlist with some on one of your social medias. So if we hit share, it gives you an option to do what any share thing does. It tells you you can send it other places. That's cool if you wanted to share your playlists. You can also shuffle your playlist, play all of them. You can put a description. This is really cool. You just hit the little button. You can add a description in here. I don't have a description. I probably should do that. It probably helps Google find it better. I'll probably do that later now. And then you want to go up and then you have these three dots on the playlist. This is the main playlist editing area. So if we did this, we can add videos to our playlist. So if I click on add videos, what is it going to do for me? Let's see. Um, add video. So you can search your or you can find another um, video on YouTube and add it to this playlist. You can do that here. And I won't go too much in details. You can mess with that and see what you know what you figure out. Go back to the three dots again. You can add all two. So you can take this playlist and add it to any one of the other playlists. So if you want to add all these to another playlist, you could do that. So we're not going to do that, but you can do that. You can create a new playlist from here, but we're not doing that in this video, but you can do that here. You can check the boxes you want to send over. So that's another thing you can do. You can also click this again. You can collaborate. I've never done the collaborate, so you might test that out. I might have to do a video just on that. Collaborate collaborators can add videos to this playlist. So you can add, turn that on and have people be able to add to it. I don't want that. And you're going to click on that. You have your playlist settings. This is a uh, pretty simple allow embedding. So you can, it gives you the embedding link to put in your um, websites. So if someone wants to take it, they can embed it in one of their websites, add new videos to top of playlist. I don't have that turned on. You can turn that on if you want. And we click done. And then also the last thing on here is delete the whole playlist. I'm not going to delete the whole playlist. That would be horrible. So we're not deleting the playlist, but you can delete the entire playlist. Now, deleting the playlist does not mean your video is being deleted. It's because it's if I hit delete playlist, let's, wow, I'm going to delete it on Vine. No, I'm not doing that. But make sure you double check that. I don't want you guys deleting your videos. But if you can click the three dots over here next to one of the videos. So we'll go on the videos. You can sort them by hitting the sort. And you do by date, most popular, all that right there. If you go over to the side of your video, hover over the, the video, you can click the little three dots here. And this will say add to a queue, save to watch later, save to a playlist. You can move it to another place. Um, remove from the playlist. So you can remove videos from this playlist. So FY. Um, and then sh you can share this. You can move it up to the top, move it to the bottom. Set as your playlist thumbnail. This is your thumbnail over here where it shows the picture. That's my, mine's automatically putting the, newest video usually i think it's the newest video up as the as the actual um thumbnail 
but you can you can change it to one of these other pictures if you wanted to have this image changed so that's it and actually thinking about deleting the playlist it should not don't quote me on that it should not delete your videos it just deletes the playlist so all your videos stay so there you go that's that's how you can actually manage and work on your youtube playlists um it's good to get in here and do that um youtube likes to have playlists so make sure you get in there and rearrange all your stuff on your page and make some good playlists it really does help your channel out but that's how you do it thanks for watching guys we really appreciate it make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching